Welcome back to Running Remote Online. My name is Danny Page. It is a true meeting of the minds here. You know, we've been resetting time-wise as well. And now we can say to the Americas, good afternoon. To Europe, good evening. In Spain, it's 9.30. It's almost time for dinner. And to those of you in Asia and Australia, if you're watching still, you're crazy. The whole workforce globally has tried working from home. They've adapted to the tools. Um, they have certain advantages uh, and disadvantages from working from home. Where it's more of a hub, a hub and spoke. So I think companies are going to start to be much more comfortable, much, much sooner, um, kind of hiring people outside of their core headquarters and building up kind of small teams or networks or kind of regions where they have um, critical mass and density. And so I think we will overall see an increase in, in, in pure remote work, absolutely. I mean, how would you feel and what would your loyalty to that employer be like if they said, we trust you to do your work from there, love it. Let's align on outcomes, what our communication is going to look like. And I will say that this is typically a topic that I spend 90 minutes going into. And so because we have a limited amount of time, I'm going to get right to it. We're going to go straight to, to the good stuff. Yeah, so you go first find out people who are a great cultural fit. Because uh, if they're not a cultural fit, they're not going to work well with the existing team. And then you have the existing team also interview that candidate. So we don't just go and say, hey, you, Nathan, we're going to make you the CEO. We have other people on the team from the developers to the product people to the engineers actually interviewing their quote unquote new boss. So you want to make sure that the team who built you that company likes the person they're working with, because if they don't, it's not going to work out. Welcome, guys. Hey, hey. hey thanks so much for having us. How would you describe the current state of diversity and inclusion in remote teams right now? I think uh, that Shraddha has shared the uh, the link. So if you want to throw a virtual coin together with Gabi uh, in hopes of returning to Rome one day, uh, then feel free to do so. I would say there's a 50 person dorm bed. I really don't see that happening again for, for till there's widespread vaccinations and we've like, destroyed that. So hostels, hostels have to find new revenue sources. We're in the middle right now of actually trying to create a, a pilot program for a four day a week schedule to roll out in 2021 that will enable more people for whom four longer days are better than five shorter days to still be full-time contributors to the team, but find a way to do so in a four day schedule. But I also believe that uh, you know, there are tremendous opportunities for people that actually realize that remote, using remote the right way uh, and solving the other secondary problems like culture and things like that. If you can do that, you can build great companies.